Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Phil the Roofer. I work with Good Choice Roofing out of Tyler and Rockwall, Texas. And I want to make this video talking about some things that I've been seeing in the industry recently and uh, really kind of just uh, talk about insurance fraud and how it's playing out right now. So the state of Texas last year came out with this uh, law called House Bill 2102, which pretty much takes away all ability, right, for anyone to supposedly waive the deductible, absorb the deductible, uh, payback, or any kind of thing under the table kind of deals, right? Uh, that was effective September 1st of last year. Uh, however, however, no one's enforcing anything. No one. There's an agency in the state of Texas, TDI, Texas Department of Insurance. These guys are 100,000% pathetic. They do nothing. They don't prosecute anybody. The small-time crook is still getting away with it on the daily. All right? There's also things that are going on that I have reported to Texas Department of Insurance. I've also reported it to the state attorney's office and also National Crime Bureau, which is our NICB, National Insurance Crime Bureau. All three have done absolutely nothing. And unfortunately, it's going to be continuing down the line. So I just want to make you aware that I do not wave deductibles. That is uh, not something that we do. It's never going to happen. We don't absorb deductibles, pay back deductibles, any kind, any bit of it. It's completely illegal. But it's still running rampant through these communities, through our state. And until the state actually enforces these laws, they're just recommendations, is all they are. Until there is some sort of a criminal investigation and actually seeking out these people, it is not going to stop. What's even worse, what's even worse, what's just happening in my neighborhood right now, there is a company called Zeke's Roofing, and I don't care if I get sued. Zeke's Roofing, you're a fraud. You are a 100% fraud. He's not only waiving deductibles, but this guy is creating what looks like hail damage to these shingles to ensure that it gets approved. That is an absolute fact. There, are, there is at least two roofs in my neighborhood that got approved recently that these people not even moved in six months ago. There hasn't been a hailstorm in our neighborhood for two years. How is the insurance companies, and the insurance companies, by the way, are partially to blame for this. How is the insurance companies approving these roofs when there hasn't been a, a notable hailstorm in two years in this neighborhood? They're using a they're using a storm date of October of 2019. October 2019 was nothing but tornadoes. There was a little hail, but it was in Mansfield, 50 minutes away. Not a single drop of rain hit our neighborhood in October of that day, October 2019. I worked that storm. Nothing but tornadoes. So the insurance companies are partially to blame for this. They're partially to blame for this, without question. You should have guys that are knowing what's going on, but... Unfortunately, that's not the case. There's also another. There's also another roof that got approved recently. They got denied last summer by the same insurance company. And magically, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That 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 storm had hail for sure. All the hail maps, including uh, NOAA weather reports, don't even suggest there's hail of any size in my neighborhood. In so it's, it's unfortunate, right? It's unfortunate for guys like us that are trying to do the right thing to have to deal with criminals that are going to get away with it because there's no oversight. There's no committee. There's no active people going after the small-time crooks. They're only going after the big guys. It's unfortunate. 
it's really a, it's really it's taking away the good name of contractors that are actually doing it the right way. I actually just interviewed for a company just last week. Okay, a big company, a big company in Plano. And if you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm not gonna say names. They asked me, "What's your sales pitch?" I said, "Well, I get deductibles every time." Say, well, you mean to tell me that if you knew that you were gonna make X amount of dollars, that you would walk away from that if someone couldn't pay the deductibles? Like, yeah, dude, it's illegal. So, like, oh man, we can't use you. Sorry. <laughs> this is a big company in Plano. And here's 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 what I found out. Right, the penalty for waiving a deductible. Is a two thousand dollar fine, which is really just a slap on the wrist, and potentially, potentially, six months in prison. I'm not gonna go to prison for anybody. But until you freaking, <laughs> until you enforce that, ain't gonna change a damn thing. I know of no one that's gone to jail. Do you? Texas Department of Insurance. You guys are a joke. An absolute joke. Who needs to get the funding. Period. I don't know where you get your funding. And you probably deal with complaints every single day. And until I read about someone going to jail because of waving the deductibles, ain't nothing's gonna change. Nothing. State Attorney's Office, you guys are an absolute joke too. NICB, pretty much jokes. Well, <sighs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm Phil Goodwin. I'd love to have your opportunity at your business. I assure you that I would never defraud you. I assure you that I will not do anything that is against the law. It's happening every single day in the state of Texas, in Rockwall, in every single town. Um, it is a it is a crying shame. And I'm going to tell you right now, definitively, personal experience in the roofing industry for this long. Do not let anyone, just anyone, on your roof. And if you do, watch them, because there is a good likelihood, and even big companies that I know of, they are desperate. And they are scratching your roof out to ensure it gets approved so they can get the business. That is the highest level of insurance fraud. So, I'd like to earn your business if we can. Check us out on the web, goodchoiceroofing.com. I'm Phil the Roofer. We go all over East Texas and North Texas. We love to have an opportunity at your business. Thanks for watching this video. Call me anytime. 214-771-1946. Making this, making this video for educational purposes. Like, a lot of people don't understand what a roof system is. A lot of people don't understand to watch people that get on the roof. You really need to. You need, you need to. Because a lot, there are a lot of roofs that are replaced that were replaced fraudulently. So, do your research and don't just let anyone on your roof. Also, State of Department, <laughs> Texas Department of Insurance, you guys are a freaking joke. See you out there.